Welcome to SPCU. Let's talk about the Alias. So the Alias is an all-new family for us, and it is a women's performance road bike that is optimized for triathlon. It's designed for riders who really want one bike that she can train on, race on, and kind of participate in events, whether it's a sprint or Olympic distance triathlon, even up to half Ironman distance triathlon events. You will see a lot of features on the Alias that really speak to the aerodynamic properties of the bike. Uh, if you look at the down tube, if you look at the fork, those are tube shapes that are inspired by Vinge. So we took what we learned in the development process of the Vinge and applied it in a way that makes sense for this rider. If you look at the seat stays, we've got cambered airfoil seat stays that taper up to a round cross section at the top just before they meet the seat tube. So that speaks to both the aero side, but also to the ride quality. That round cross section provides a little bit more vertical compliance that makes a smoother ride for the rider. Additionally, you'll see a round seat tube and a round seat post. That's also a feature that we designed into the bike to contribute additional compliance on the rear end and to make sure that the rider really enjoys the experience. If you look at the bike straight on, you'll see a very slim head tube and fork. Uh, we use a straight inch and an eighth steerer tube on this bike. It gives that slim front end, but it also contributes to front end compliance. So during the development process of the bike, um, we looked at the fit of riders on road bikes with clip-on aero bars. Um, we used our SBCU team here in Morgan Hill, and we um, set riders up on road bikes with clip-on aero bars and uh, analyzed the adjustments that they needed to make to make that aero position work. So what we saw was that most of the riders needed to move their saddle forward three and a half to four centimeters um, to get in a position that was um, ideal for use in the aero bars. Um, so we took that piece of information and kind of built a geometry around uh, that aero position so that the bike handles well in the aero bars. So what that led us to is a 77 and a half degree seat tube angle on the size 51, uh, a steeper seat tube angle than you're going to see on most road families. Uh, and when you pair that steep seat tube angle with a zero offset post, it puts the rider forward in that more triathlon position. Now we did want the Alias to be a very versatile bike that can still be used as a road bike um, for training purposes. So we developed a 35 millimeter offset seat post that can be used to convert the Alias to a more traditional road position um, for training miles, for going out and doing group rides, uh, and for really um, setting the bike up more as a traditional road bike. Other parts of the geometry that you will notice are gonna be short chain stays. That keeps that rear wheel tucked so that the bike handles well when you are forward in that aerodynamic position. Uh, and then stack and reach numbers that are kind of optimized around the way riders have their bikes set up. So we did take a lot of data at the events that we um, have visited and we built a geometry that allows the riders to set their bikes up the way that they're actually riding them. So a little bit taller head tube, uh, to, to get the appropriate stack height. So one of my favorite things about the Alias is the Remora. The Remora is a nutrition storage device that bolts onto recessed rib nuts on the top tube. So this is a, a rubber ma material that is slotted at the top so you can easily access your gels and bars while you're on the go. And the Remora actually is placed directly behind the stem in what we call a dirty air zone. So it actually increases the overall aerodynamic properties of the bike by reducing the drag. The Remora is available aftermarket and it does come with straps to use on other bikes that don't have the, the rib nuts on the top tube. So the Alias comes in two different configurations. We have both tri models that come with a zero offset seat post and the clip-on aero bars as well as a rib cage. Uh, so those are race ready out of the box in that tri configuration. We also have models that are set up for road. So those models come with a 35 millimeter offset post and without the clip-on aero bars. It's easy to convert between the two models uh, by changing out the seat post and either adding or removing the clip-on aero bars.